first uh, demo flight I am in my garden I would just try to test uh, the basic uh, GPS stabilization with the last update the last update was done very easily I didn't met any problem but you have to know that you need some STM uh, driver be installed on your machine so if you already have a beta fly compatible machine in general it's okay so if not you will have to install go to the uh, ST Micro Electronics web pages and download um, the uh, this corresponding uh, virtual uh, uh, COM port uh, driver uh, another remark for the charging uh, there is no battery indication on the uh, rear side of the battery and the charger is very basic three uh, solid light when you're charging until it become green so no real progression and it's pretty long to charge with a uh, provided charger anyway so I will pour the machine first uh, I will, will start with the Epson okay so I need one more time to press okay you hear this triple sound and the same for the radio a beep so I will wait a couple of seconds and I will also uh, run the um, screen saver of uh, my tablet in order to record everything so okay to be sure okay so you can see the main interface I will enter into the Xeno one and enter to the main one I hope everything will be okay uh, not yet uh, the video feedback okay so I will have probably to exit uh, from this one okay and uh, I don't know if I still have the uh, screen server running yes it seems to be sometimes you I will have to unplug and replug the situation and automatically in general when I run the uh, un unplug and plug the uh, USB the Xeno application is running automatically so So now my Android 7 sometimes is not working directly out of the box. So I, I can say I have to unplug and replug it. And sometimes it's connected. Okay. Okay, now I return and resume. I've got the video feedback. And as usual, I need to uh, bind one more time. Okay, and uh, perform a GPS accurate step. So actually I'm receiving 8 GPS for the uh, draft and craft and I will perform whatever the GPS testing. Okay, yeah, seems to be good. 8 GPS actually, I will wait a couple of seconds to receive a little bit more. I just performed before the compass calibration as well, so I flew exactly in the same place. And you have to turn into the video mode, okay, and uh, you can either press this uh, big uh, red button on the screen or the rear one long press on the rear right uh, button okay so motor are locked I will wait a couple of seconds one more time and I want to test uh, if I can for example uh, to show you the GPS accuracy in terms of uh, altitude hold so you, uh, you already know that this machine suffer a lot of uh, Z variation some toil boiling effect okay so uh, maybe you linked with the absence of a VPU at least for uh, low altitude uh, stabilization and I'm not sure that the barometer is uh, efficient so they need to absolutely improve uh, the uh, GPS hold stabilization and we will see with the last firmware if uh, this work is already uh, done uh, in terms of video settings as you can see I am in 2.47 uh, I will record in this resolution just perform some EO testing today is absolutely wind free extremely sunny the weather is just amazing for Firebury it's close to 20 degrees imagine I know I'm lucky but uh, in general it's not normal to have such temperature right now so it's not a good sign oh, nine satellites and I think uh, the number will increase from now a little bit more higher so 
let's try to harm to harm you you need to push uh, as you can see in lower outer direction the machine so uh, we go more into uh, um, shadow down because I'll start to be even uh, uh, hot in this uh, sun how we harm the machine okay start recording Okay, you have the red square now appearing. You have to push the throttle pretty high. Okay, and let's check the video stabilization. 10, Jap 10 satellites right now. So, I don't touch anything. Yeah. And... Yeah. And it's moving a lot. Okay, start to be a little bit better. A little bit better but it's not fantastic the sticks as already mentioned are really sensitive so let's try to see yeah the z variation is okay but you can see the machine drifting a bit some satellites maybe it's not enough 14 would have been better On the video signal, the, the stabilization sounds pretty good, yes. And the machine is very responsive, so be aware of that. So you have to push the sticks very gently. And I found that the battery level is decreasing super fast. Already 85%. Uh, that the battery decreasing by um, some five percent values directly each time so I'm not sure about the the total duration okay I will try to play a little bit with the gimbal oh I will be able to check a little bit monitor my roof But the, now the stabilization is not so so bad. It's a little bit noisy. I would check my not so so bad now. From a nominal altitude, I can say that is not so so bad. You can fly slowly if you apply very gentle, slow stick inputs, but definitely needs to be to apply air, air assist smoothing on the control. I'm not so far from the electrical line there, or oh, butterfly want to play with. Fifteen satellites huh, right now, so I guess the accuracy much better. You can see the water on the background. Yeah, not so bad in terms of stabilization. I don't suffer of any toilet boiling effect. Mm -hmm. Let's make a small panorama tour. We slow yaw, okay. I will see if the video at 30 frames per second will offer a choppy video rendering. Now let's try with the full yaw speed. Ah, it's dri some drifting in the yaw, fast yaw movement. Yeah.
Okay. Oh oh. And the seagull, <laughs> I don't want it to play with my drone. Okay, not so so bad. You can see the landscape in the background. Let's play a little bit with the gimbal. Not so bad. Okay, I found this in wintry condition that the uh, quadcopter is pretty nice in terms of stabilization. I will go down now. It's a little bit noisy, especially compared to the Xiaomi A3. Oh, I locked, I lose the... no. No, no. So I need to... Yes, I'm here. Hello. So let's check one more time the, uh, the stabilization. 15 satellites. You can see. Drifting a bit, but it's not so bad. Okay, some yeah, some drifting a bit. Yes, start to shift. Ah, we can we can start maybe the beginning of a cycle of the toiling boiling effect. Maybe yes, Is that if you go. Okay, okay. And in Z variation is not so bad right now. So I guess they improved some stuff in the last firmware updates. But it's still deviate a circle of one meters. And when the wind starts to raise, I guess uh, the deviation will be stronger. So I will land now and I, will, I want to And see okay so 13 satellite 55 percent I will stop recording eight minutes so Eight minutes. If I compute, uh, well, if I'm doubling, it will be about 16 minutes. So we are still far from the 25 minutes uh, or 22. I can remember well. At the tight, especially when you know that on the last 20 person, there is probably a special program to save the battery. So maybe uh, this battery need to be uh, charged uh, a little bit better in terms of. Uh, balancing and so on so professional charger need to be tested whatever in wind free condition with a nominal number of satellites as you saw between 14 and 15 oh, the GPS is old far to be perfect but not so catastrophic but it's the first try and usually this machine try to be very nice the first time and well in fact it's the second time but I'm afraid that um, <laughs> she start to be capricious uh, when you start to be more confident with so be vigilant I will of course now apply more testing of course and now to test a little bit the range and so on in not in downtown where I'm living in some good spots and then also test the uh, advanced features new demo fly of the Absanzino flashed with the last firmware now I'm um, is my one of open spaces uh, spot 
So I uh, will try to test the one more time the GPS stabilization. Uh, one remark about the battery charging time: super long, more than three hours, and you have just uh, red solid light when it's charging and becomes to green when it charge. No intermediate uh, battery indication of the level. Well, you know, at least some flashing that should have been a better uh, information during the charging process. So. Uh, I would say that this one needs to be um, uh, improved and I think some more professional charger should have been here and here I regret the absence of for example of four LEDs indicating for example you are 75, 40, 50 and 25 percent of the charge of the battery. Anyway it's like this so I will of course perform locally the compass calibration each time you are flying in different spots you will have to perform that. So I will show how to proceed but it's obvious. So, uh, as you can see, I use my new system. So I will run the. Um, uh, I will turn on first the the no. Okay, here the beep, and I will turn on the uh, central button. Okay, automatically um, it will detect that the Dino will be. Uh, here, thanks to the USB, also turn off the Wi-Fi because uh, everything is done by USB doing. Okay, so uh, the um, apps and apps should be run automatically if I'm not wrong. If not, yes, as you can see. Oh, I will run the screen recorder right now. Okay, so. Okay, so now you can see now the uh, smartphone uh, web interface because with, uh, I guess, the strong daylight you don't see anything from the direct screen. I will press the enter main interface and sometimes uh, the video signal is not here. I have to plug in plug several times with this uh, Android device and sometimes it's uh, easier. So sometimes you know, I have to, to do that. Okay, so it's here and each time you will have to bind your quadcopter okay so you will press ok and already receiving 13 satellites uh, for the uh, Zeno and I hope more or less the same for the uh, built-in GPS good accuracy so I can perform if I want some uh, tracking uh, only with the GPS based system but of course the most efficient is the visual based one so I will perform uh, I will show you first uh, the amount of information. So, as you can see, flashed with the firmware 10.47, uh, FPV firmware 0.3.4, uh, gimbal 3.0.2.1. Okay, and I will uh, blah 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 uh, perform the uh, compass calibration. So I should go to other and go press the compass calibration here. So. He will ask me to rotate clockwise the machine, so what I will do, I will hold more uh, done by the bottom side the machine, rotate slowly, will be okay. And after, for the second axis, you will have to uh, nose down, okay, like this, and one more time clockwise, so automatically the gimbal will put into a protected mode okay and now it's down compass successfully and the gear should be up in the normal position so um, actually I don't have any map so because I should download it offline but anyway I will perform some basic flights um, I will probably mostly film in 2.7k and uh, 1080p in 60 frames per second because I won't encode my video in 4k because whatever YouTube will kill the with a huge compression ratio so uh, but I'm not sure that the uh, final this finally the sensor is a real 4k but I think it's playing a little bit more with the uh, um, interpolation and the native sensor is only a 2.71 whatever so how we um, show you the um, video mode 2.7 30 frame color ordinary video format etc is normal so 16 satellite I'm ready to go I will press recording okay and I will arm by author like this and let's go for a takeoff 
Okay, and let's see from when the machine is warm meter, warm meter and half, how is the stabilization? Today is a little bit more windy. And you will see the Z deviation, the Z deviation. <laughs> so now I'm two meters high. Okay, and in terms of X and Y axis, shifting maybe a little bit to the right, not in return here. So, well, not so, so bad. So, one of the drawbacks of this machine is when you are flying forward fast, the machine is losing altitude. It was, so I will try and you will see flying fast. Yes, definitely this machine is losing altitude when you're flying fast. So need to be aware when you're at full speed, you will lose some altitude. So especially if you're over grass or over, over the, the, um, the sea. I am. Okay. Fast forward. Here it's more or less okay. The control are are well you can see you are losing a lot of altitude and suddenly you regain altitude. It's amazing. I touch anything on the throttle and in climb up from maybe something about five meters. Wow my goodness. Okay, so I will try. It's not a sign of confidence. So you need to fly smoothly with this machine, definitely. I will install, yes, as you can see, I installed the antennas more in a V shape. I hope you will be able to see. Look at my transmitter, okay. So in order to optimize the uh, FPV link, so I will try to make some distance, actually tw 25 meters, I will gain some altitude. And try to move a little bit. So, another point. Uh, the uh, link is limited to one kilometer, and I think this this value is hard coded into the firmware, and no possibility, for example, to change it. So it's hard coded somewhere. I'm looking my FPV screen to be sure. 250 meters, 8.6 meters per second, okay. And uh, the FPV link is not bad. I'm looking for the, uh, the link. Um, you don't have any sign, you have the uh, orientation on the main screen, but if you, for example, you lose the FPV screen, it will be hard to read directly the coordinate to return home by yourself. So they should improve, okay, 60 meters of distance. Let's try to do that. Look the uh, the yaw. So for example, my I'm 30, 40 degrees of distance. So if I want to weigh back, I have to subtract 180 degrees. You have to do it by yourself. Okay, it's not a big problem, but Look that the transmission is not bad, close to 700 meters. Still here. Oh, I'm over a kind of golf. No, it's not that. It's, uh, it's not a golf. It's a, a special place for birds to be protected here in this area, 60 meters high. And look that the transmission range is great. And I think I will be blocked at uh, exactly one kilometers, 900 of distance. The control is great. Yes slow down a little bit okay yes so as you can see it's freezing a bit but uh, so close to one kilometers oh it stopped recording no continue so we try to whoa where are they are
Okay. Okay. I will have to press the um, since I lose signal. So, ah. Okay. Where I am? Okay. We try to a little bit move forward. So the, the interface is showing that I'm switching. Oh, auto, the scrap disconnected. Mm -hmm. So I will try to press the return to home. Which is the left one. So I will try to press uh, is reconnected, yes. Seventeen satellite. Um Aircraft landing in place. Take off location. I will press OK. And I hope I will be more than 30 meters high. So, he's returning home. From the telemetry information, but I don't retrieve the video signal. From the telemetry information, I didn't retrieve yet the, the video signal. But I don't lose the altitude, it's way back, 700 meters, I hope. Okay. Okay, now Garlit. 650 should return, and we will see in a auto landing location. So I was close to 1 km, 60 meters high, 500 meters. Okay, I got the signal now, right now. So when you are rotating your aircraft, be aware, uh, the link, the video link is lower than the one is moving forward so and as you can see with uh, without range extenders of course you can uh, install some windsurfing um, uh, semi-parabolic antenna to increase your FPV range so 300 meters I should see the machine now not so far oh yes I start to see 200 meters yes I see it uh, speed about 700 meters so not so bad so in terms of control range it's not so bad okay one kilometer could be better but uh, unfortunately uh, this one kilometer of distance is hard coded okay there yeah, I can see the machine so I want to cancel the auto landing so one way for example you can uh, if I press here I can disable cancel the uh, so you should cancel yes Okay, I will cancel it and now I will go down and I want to test a little bit the some advantage features for example we can make some uh, panorama or maybe I should fly more higher because I want to enjoy a nice spot so there is new features for example automatic uh, photos and you can uh, make beautiful landscape automatically it will assemble by, by itself uh, the different photo taken during a rotation for example so we we'll try to fly something about okay I'm close to 100 meters high you can see the sea in the background okay I will stop recording here and I will press uh, the um, new uh, creative video mode and there is fly to skies and panorama shoot so i will try this one and you have to select the angle okay from one full tour or okay understood and let's do that so i will try to make a full complete tour and i will say that i will rotate something about not okay 15 degrees per second so i will start and go 
and automatically it sh should shoot some videos okay that's great a complete full tour and then we record and after you would just need to assemble everything so it's done so I will now go down I will return and res resuming the video and go down so 100 meters a little bit high the descent rate is is about um, no indication about the descent rate is only the horizontal speed is indicated but it's relatively slow Seventeen satellite. The Zeno is noisy from my point of view. Ah, twenty-seven meters high. Let's see a little bit in terms of, of altitude hold, how is be aware what is his behavior after a couple of minutes in with 17 satellites. Look at that. None among the best. Uh, you know what I will try? I will try to be put myself under the sun and to design a visual tracking for him. It will be a little bit better. Okay, I will backward a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now I will play with the advanced mode. I will press the following mode and I will, of course, decide I understood. And uh, it's too low, so I have to climb a bit first. Okay, and play with the gimbal. The gimbal, oh is a little bit sensitive so let's repeat the, uh, the operation following me understood let's design a track okay and let's press go so it will follow me can we adjust for example the yaxin during the track well he lost the track <laughs> ah, it refined. Oh, yes. Great. And you have to press one more time go. So that's great. The kind of uh, reassociation of the track. So you can maneuver with a yaw during the visual tracking, but you can lose uh, the track. But there is a kind of smart features who can retrieve the target and you have to validate this one. So it's not so bad. I can rotate myself. Okay, so it's not so bad. Let's see. Let's try to move from front. If you have to, yes, it's backward very easily. Hello. Try to. Yes. No problem at all. So, working fine. Um, how to stop this mode? I have to press stop. Now I want to enjoy more. Uh, the orbit mode so there is a, uh -huh, do not show again decrease radius so the uh, pitch is to increase the radius the lower to decrease it oh it's strange clockwise counterclockwise sort of hop so do not show again I understood so set the oh you can select the set the transmission share of the center of interest what I will do or set the aircraft current position that you can choose if it's the older or transmitter will be the center of your point of interest or the current craft version. I will select this one. Okay, radius. Okay, execute immediately. And it will start and you can increase the radius, the speed by pushing the throttle here and it's increasing effectively. And you can also it's inverted it's not so logical but you can reduce the radius by pushing down like this and increase the radius like this 
and it's still continuing the orbit mode we can hide okay I, I want to increase a little bit the, the speed of the of the orbit so it will it will turn faster much faster 30 percent of battery mm -hmm. so if I computing I could calculate as some everything I should be about 30 minutes 40 minutes of flight time already working fine so we press stop uh, I prefer the FEMI A3 uh, orbit mode to be honest but it's not so bad so what we have we have weapon but that I don't have any Google here I forgot to download and we have line flight mode so I guess uh, you have to apply a given angle distance and speed so okay for example preview flight mode oh ho 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 you need a GPS map before so I won't apply that 25% what I want to do is um, to check if moving forward I will lose altitude so be aware especially after a turn Oh my god it's impressive so when you are moving fast forward it's more or less okay but if you apply a, a fast u-turn look that how how many meters you are losing wow you can read the values on the h values on the on the application so I lost something from nine meters to something five meters so almost four meter loss during a fast u-turn look that one more time you can crash the machine yes oh my goodness and now we rig uh, so this this is not yet fixed by the last VMware update definitively let's check whatever if we suffer from toiling boiling effect one more time I will try to oh I will try to clean up the oh, the gimbal and you will see by yourself how stable is the machine I will try look the Z variation is going down going up uh, sounds to be uh, one meters of deviation in Z and in X and Y wow it's not so bad at uh, Z altitude is not good uh, no, not good a little bit windy, 22%. I want to see what you will do in case of RTH. Okay. 7 about 17 satellites. So I am in I guess in the most perf I would say the best condition I can have and this is a real good test to check the last stability results with the last firmware is it catastrophic not not of course not you can fly with this machine of course and the video gimbal stabilization is really working well so that's the best best positive point of this machine uh, the camera rendering is not bad uh, it's not super sharp, especially at the background. Look the detail of the branch and so on. You can see that it's a little bit blur. So I don't know if it's linked with the level of uh, compression used in the um, butane compressor. I don't know. Maybe the data right is not strong enough, but it's like six. 20% still flying. So eight minutes. Oh, maybe I'm more than. Oh, I think it will start to. To land I will try to, to move backward a little bit wow and the stick movement is very very aggressive so be aware that they have to offer the possibility to apply some rates some curves to smooth little bit of this throttle input oh look there it seems that there be a kind of eagles on the background I don't know if you will be able to see you know I can see it from myself I don't know if you will. 20 percent. 
There is kind of bigger at the background, I don't know. 20%. It's flying, turning. Maybe with the uh, Nino, you will be able to see in the background. Ten minutes more, so finally I uh, should be around twenty minutes. And what, of course, to observe what you will do when in case of low battery. Okay, so uh, we return here. But at least the good news, I didn't observe any toiling boiling effect. That's a good news. Oh, where it goes? Sometimes you have to fight against still recording eleven minutes plus oh you have look that you have the light flashing fast the red red one on the rear leg rear arms sixteen percent and it's still here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, the battery oh, is engaging. Look that, he's engaging the return to home automatically. Can we cancel that? Yes, you can cancel. You know, you can cancel if you want. I won't do it because I want it to, to land automatically. From the well, the takeoff location. Yes, not so bad at all. So we stop recording. So uh, I think I took up from here. Something here. So I've got yes, two meters. Two meters, not so bad. So. I will stop the screen re uh, recorder here. And start to make some partial conclusion. Of course, I need to perform some more uh, more testing. Well, uh, this machine is for sure not the best stabilized um, uh, quadcopter. For example, the Xiaomi E3 is killing this, this one. The Walker Avitus offer also much better and don't even speak about any DJI product. Okay, so uh, in terms of GPS hold stabilization, especially in the altitude, this one is the worst. Whatever the last firmware update is the worst. But at least I didn't observe any toying boiling effect. Some reported some. Okay, so uh, I don't think that they are the problem is solved. But I think now happen much less, less rarely, especially if you perform each time a compass calibration. That's a very important step to do. It's not super uh, stable in the variation. Okay, it's yawing a bit also. Okay, so if you want to, for example, to spot on the scene, uh, you will observe some small movement. That life. Um, when you're moving fast. And after you apply a fast U-turn, you will lose a huge amount of altitude. Okay, something about four meters minimum. So be aware if you were very low, you can touch the ground and kill your machine. That's uh, pretty bad. Another thing, the um, maximum distance range is uh, hard coded in the firmware. No possibility to change that. So if you want to install, for example, some windsurf or some uh, antenna booster. There is no problem to go beyond one kilometer technically, but it's fixed by a firmware. So we can ask to Epson to remove this limitation, maybe, or probably somewhere we we'll find the uh, in the firmware a way to like the uh, former Epson H501 could apply a trick like this to uh, with an ex editor to, to change the value. Maybe it could happen. Be aware when you are close to the uh, maximum one kilometer distance, 
the FPV, the video signal link will be worse when we be um, way back. So uh, that's a problem. What I really like the return to home, a different option offered from the uh, takeoff, the position of the phone or uh, the place where you are. So three nice options and you can select each time. You can cancel uh, the return to home in any time, even when the battery is low, you can, whatever, imagine you want to perform long FPV range, you can and you start to engage the return to home. So I didn't observe if it reducing speed, but you can, in worst case, disable the return to home if it's reducing the uh, uh, horizontal speed and to enter by yourself and to apply a maximum speed. That's a good uh, thing that the Xiaomi, for example, does offer when you are below 20% is returning home and decreasing the speed and no choice and you and you can be in big trouble in this case i like the application really nice uh, intuitive i didn't show how to proceed the weapon but it's the same as the former Epson product so very intuitive you can describe etc etc so so that's i like uh the video stabilization work is good really good and the camera performances not so bad in terms of color renditions thanks to the lax firmware uh, of course, it's not ultra precise, the 4K resolution, I think in my point of view, is not a real one, uh, but um, is absolutely not bad. So, in terms of camera, of course, is not reaching the uh, performances of any DJI product. Is it better than the uh, Fimi S3? Yes. In terms of camera performance, yes. So, the S3 is not bad. But it's a 1080p and it's a little bit brighter, also the amount of compression uh, rate is uh, is huge in my point of view, or the uh, lens is uh, blurring a bit, little bit of stuff. So, not all this is negative with this machine. I enjoy it to fly it. A little bit noisy maybe, and uh, I'm. It's clear that I'm feeling a little bit more stressed to fly this machine than uh, the, for example, the uh, Fimi E3 or. Uh, Oh, or in terms of flight, I found the Walker Avitus much more flying stably. Of course, <laughs> the Avitus don't offer this uh, amount of video stabilization. The gimbal, the Walker Avitus was uh, was a lot of jello inside. So, unfortunately, and they kill this product like this. No obstacle avoidance uh, sensor, uh, no VPU to improve the situation. The flight duration, finally, if you charge, uh, yes, I advise something also. When you finish to charge after three hours, wait a couple of minutes and re-insert the charger. You will man manage to little bit uh, put some power into the battery. And as you saw, finally, I think I even exceed 20 minutes in total flight duration. So not so bad while recording. Um, so what I need to test, I want to test another f beautiful spot. So the next day if the wind and the weather is just incredibly actually um, so I have to wake up very in the morning uh, we go to the my favorite beach and uh, to enjoy a little bit so we will see in the same sun rising condition how the 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 camera uh, will uh, be um, I will under the situation so my partial conclusion we will have some okay in the third part and uh, voila so Let's continue the test. New demo flight of the Absan Zeno. Today in my one of my favorite spots. So it's extremely sunny. Um, no wind at all. So it's great. So I will turn up everything. Of course, locally uh, perform the compass calibration to be sure. And let's go. So I will turn on the Zeno. Okay, turn on the transmitter right now. So, long press is done. So, automatically, when you plug the USB, and as soon as you turn on the USB debugging option, it will ask if you want to run automatically uh, the X absent application with. If you say yes, you will see that after a couple of seconds, it will um, run the software. I will, I will turn on the screen recorder okay it's done so I will press enter the device 
and sometime you have to wait a couple of seconds that the video link will be done so I will try to apply more a map okay like this because it should be done locally I download uh, offline so I don't know why it's not here because in Google Map is here whatever so I don't have yet the video signal so sometimes you have to unplug and to replug the USB and then after I observe that the video link will come okay as you saw is here I will still fly it in 2.7 uh, K resolution and as you saw in the, the parts the rear whatever the resolution the background is a little bit blur look especially at the branches and so on uh, it's very blurred so I don't know if it's a question of focus of the quality of the lens whatever or the compression factor applied to the encoding process but it's like this so I will of course perform the compass calibration I'm already receiving up to eight satellites so you have to go to the settings go to the other and bottom and then go to the uh, compass calibration okay I must bind first so what I will do okay press next to uh, check if okay and I will rest restart the compass calibration sorry compass calibration and then you will apply locally as usual turn clockwise the machine okay the gimbal will enter into safe mode especially when you will uh, perform the compass calibration for the second axis for the y axis so turn clockwise the machine now nose down the gimbal nose down and turn clockwise as well and after a couple of seconds you will see on the screen in orange color that the compass calibration is done okay yellow or orange I, I don't know exactly so you are ready to go I will deploy a little bit the antenna and I will turn into a uh, video mode okay and we're ready so little good surprise the uh, flying duration is about 22 minutes last time so we're not so so bad so we turn on the video recording okay it's done and arm the motors by pushing lower outer of the throttle and let's take off at satellite so I don't expect super good uh, I will say stability okay so I will wait a couple of seconds it's absolutely wind free oh sounds to be good that it's absolutely wind free so and I will turn on myself to be sure that usually it's up a bit the stabilization okay nine GP nine satellites for the GPS and versus time it will increase you have a military boat on the background and I will start to raise a bit yeah I will, okay and there you know it's winter time and there are some people swimming here it's uh, the it's close to 20 degrees here it's impressive the water is great so I will take altitude 20 meters and we will see 30 meters high and we will see make a small panorama tour so you can see that for example this um, cliff is uh, well, at least on the monitors is a little bit dark so probably with some EV settings we can adjust that so for example let's go to the um, setting of the camera settings and no why is recording we cannot adjust anything else okay so I will try to perform a small um, video range test one more time let's try like this three I did last time let's try to go to the um, to the other bay six, uh, 60 meters and sort of try to move forward okay and you know when you're flying fast forward sometimes there is some yo uh, yes some yo drift huh? uh, in terms of speed I close to 
9 meter per, per second I don't see the machine anymore because I was focused more on the on this stuff and I will try to go up a little bit higher so 300 meters let's try to to slow down the machine perform a yarn yes I should be if I play with the gimbal I should have a small part here yes it's great actually the 90 meter look the quality of the waters we have some yes great and I will try to go there keeping a little bit try to climb something about 100 meters to be sure that uh, the signal won't be blocked by some the smaller cap I had to cross and yes full forward you can see that there are some small yes small yard deviation look that 500 meters video link is great Six hundred meters. I am in the other bay, so let's try to to go there. Seven hundred meters, not so bad. Oh, maybe you will see a very small church here. Uh, when I went. I did some photos here. Yeah. And look that. Incredibly beautiful. So let's try to cross like this. Full speed one more time. And check try to check the I don't I would like to see if I can try later a boat somewhere or a swimmer. Well, the FPV display should be in 720p resolution, it's not ultra precise, so you cannot really guess details, so maybe one of the drawbacks of the system, we have a high compressed uh, 720p, uh, and yes, when I'm moving full forward, you know the sticks are so imprecise that sometimes you're not sure to keep the right, the straight one, it's not because it's uh, drifting, it's maybe because the gimbal is not is so imprecise so rubbish i would say that sometimes you cannot adjust so uh, yeah very beautiful locked in terms of altitude the telemetry why full forward say i don't lose any altitude yes uh, the altitude lost is usually uh, done when you're you try to um, you try to to make a fast turn. Okay, so we try to make a small panorama as well. Look at that. I try to be a little bit front. Yes, I should be more in this direction. Seven minutes, seven sixty five percent of the battery remaining one. So we try to yaw. The commands are super sensitive. Let's check the gear level. Well, oh, not so so bad. Oh, there is a boat here. Yes. 
I will return to the bay where, where I am. Oh. No, no, I am in this one, yes. So it should be just front of me. We try to lose a little bit some altitude. Because one meter high is ship. And there should be some. I don't like the gimbal at all. Very bad. Uh, very, very bad. Uh, look, it's uh, some fishermen around. Very bad radio command in general. I don't see. I should see. It should be not so high. I don't see it. Where I see, Yes, I saw it now. there <laughs> funny maybe you will be able to see That's a nice place, isn't it? Well, let's try to look the rocks there and try to perform. You know what I want to do? I want to perform now a selfie drone because it's assumed to be. Yeah, I am. You have to know that the uh, recording is divided into 10 minutes uh, files automatically in order to at least save something in your flight station. So let's try a more uh, sophisticated um, uh, flight mode. And I saw there is not this one. This is what we have in hand, weapon, normal mode, following me. I believe I saw something special in the flight to sky. Oh, ah, you must, what is it, this one? Why I cannot access this? Maybe I have to turn off the recording, so I will turn off it. Okay, 40%. And let's try this one, creative mode. No, 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 I'm not allowed. Maybe it's not yet active. So we record one more time. But look the stability, eh? oh, 12 satellites, I touch anything. Slight, slight movement in the camera, but I think I'm within less than one meter, maybe 50 centimeters. So in wind-free condition, is absolutely not bad. Is moving, but I see I see worse results. Believe me. So what I wanted to try, uh, 
I cannot do a waypoint here. Orbit mode is will be a little bit too too narrow in terms of beach. So maybe I want to try um, something else. I cannot really test that here. And here in summertime, youngs are jumping into the the water. There is a jumping jumping base here. When I was young, I was doing that here exactly here in the middle. Now the stability is not bad at all, for sure. Thirty percent, yes, yes, I know. Oh, there is a small... I want to apply... I don't see any more of the boat. Stop. Okay, I'm a little bit afraid. I don't see it. Okay, I will return home. 25%. I should go home now. Let's try to film uh, the, uh, the, as usual, all of my machine. Actually, I try to film the uh, the uh, the door here and to check the stability of the machine because there are a lot of details. And you will be able to check the uh, the gimbal. Only ten satellites here. Look that.
yes, non GPS satellites. Yeah, it starts to drift a bit. Huh? You you saw it. And we wait until the end of the battery. Twenty-five percent to active the truck, which is uh, not so, so bad. You can see in terms of stability, in wind-free condition, we cannot complain. Really, with the last firmware, we cannot complain. I didn't observe any uh, disconnection with the interface. Then GPS satellite only. In wind-free condition, is okay. Really, I feel more confident, confident today. But is that the Okay. Twenty percent it will uh, it will land. I'm close already twenty minutes of flight time. We start to I will land because if the GPS um, return to home location is not precise only, I can maybe land into the water. So I hope not. And I think when it will be turned to 15%, it will start. Uh, it will start to land. Look the level of the gimbal. Wow. Almost perfect. Yes. Nine minutes plus twelve. I'm more than twenty-two. Maybe I will reach twenty-three minutes of flight time. Not so bad. Yeah. Probably even more. As I think within uh, 15 30 seconds, it will let down from now. No disconnection at all from the video signal, but great. I just saw I was about to reach 1800 meters and the 1000 meters, 1 kilometer, is hard coded into the firmware. So we have to ask the to, to unlock this value. Oh, not so bad. Another 10 minutes. Yeah, not so, so bad. 17%. Okay. I will land now. At 15%, I want to check what is the uh, Minimum value, it will go down automatically. Okay, low battery. Okay. So, I will cancel. Are you sure you can cancel? And then I will land down. I will cancel by.
great. <laughs> 